ഹലോ ഡിയർ സ്റ്റുഡൻസ് ഹോപ്പ് യു ആർ ഓൾ സേഫ് ആൻഡ് ഫൈൻ ഐ വിൽ എക്സ്പ്ലെയിൻ ഇൻഫർമേഷൻ ടെക്നോളജി ആൻഡ് ബാങ്കിങ് ഇൻ ദിസ് ടോപ്പിക് ഓവർ ദ ഇയേഴ്സ് എക്സ്പെഷ്യലി ഇൻ ദ ലേറ്റർ പാർട്ട് ഓഫ് ദ ട്വൻറ്റി എയ്റ്റ് സെഞ്ച്വറി ദ ഇന്ത്യൻ ബാങ്കിങ് സെക്ടർ ഹാസ് അണ്ടർ ഗോൺ ഫാസ്റ്റ് ഗ്രോത്ത് ആൻഡ് വിത്ത് ദ അഡ്വെൻറ്റ് ഓഫ് ടെക്നോളജിക്കൽ ചേഞ്ചസ് ഇന്ത്യൻ ബാങ്ക്സ് ആർ അഡാപ്റ്റിങ് to the new environment the two successive committees on computerization that is rangarajan committees were responsible for bank computerization in india all the years led by the initiatives of reserve bank of india banks in india have witnessed lot of changes into their banking operations duly supported by information technology and the communication revolution some of the important areas where the it plays important roles and fund transfer mechanism such as ecs eft rtgs neft etc then uh, clearing house operation like magnetic ink character recognition micr cts etc and also you know innovative online e banking services that is tele banking mobile banking sms banking credit debit cards atms core banking solutions etc as per the recommendations of the saraf committee the reserve bank of india has set up a country wide data communication network for banks linking major centers of the country known as infinet indian financial network and this network uses satellite communication with very small aperture terminals vsats as earth stations vsat network is a single closed group user group network for the exclusive use of banks and other financial institutions the vsats are owned by individual banks and the rbi the hub is owned by the rbi and the institute for development and research in banking technology idr bt satellite services based on visa technology can establish reliable links to all sites the central hub monitors and controls the flow of network traffic phases of banking technology in india based on a study information technology based innovations are considered and grouped into four distinct periods early adoption from 1960 to 1980 specific application 80 to 90 homogens 1990 to 2000 uh, all are in the last century and diffusion starting from 2000 to till date based on this uh, dimensions of it innovation in indian retail banking is given below then see some of the characteristics of electronic banking services online services automated teller machine point of sale system a classified phone banking internet banking and mobile banking in a single head uh, that is easy and convenient access to account balance interest rate exchange rates etc and also you can freely transfer Uh, funds between accounts Indian banking industry adopted various technology applications in banking there data warehouse data mining electronic data interchange edi corporate websites mis management information system 
this how we look into the first head data warehouse data warehouse is a repository of an organization's electronically stored data and have several layers like operational database layer data access layer metadata layer information access layer etc sessions erp enterprise resource planning systems are fall into this layer the interface between the operational and informational access layer is called data access layer metadata layer is called uh, data directory this is usually for detailed uh, than the operational and the uh, data access layer tools for reporting and analyzing of data is under informational access layer second data mining data mining is an automatic or semi automatic technical process that analyzes large number of uh, scattered information to make sense of it and turn into knowledge it looks for anomalies patterns or correlations among millions of records to predict results in banking uh, banks use data mining to better understand market risk it is commonly applied to credit ratings and intelligent anti fraud systems to analyze transactions and also allows bank to learn more about online preferences or habits to optimize the return on their marketing campaigns study the performance of sales channels or manage the regulatory compliance obligations third electronic data interchange or edi is also known as electronic data exchange edi refers to exchange of documents electronically Uh, like purchase orders invoices etc between the applicants this exchange involves no paper no human intervention and takes place in a matter of seconds normally these features are implemented in the organization through third party network services called wan value added networks for corporate websites Corporate websites are differ from electronic commerce portals or sites in that uh, they may provide information to public about the company rather than transacting business or providing other services. Other means for accessing various site sessions, unified look and feel, incorporating. the company logo style sheets and graphic images summary of company information history and the mission statement a list of company's products and services a pupil session with a biographical information on founders board members and or key executives a new session containing press releases press uh, related matters etc an investor session describing uh, key owners or investors of the company a list of clients suppliers achievements projects partners or others uh, pages of special interest to specific group an employment session where the company list open positions uh, uh, that can be are treated as opportunities the uh, the annual report business plan etc uh, pages for employees suppliers customers strategic partners affiliates etc and uh, contact information uh, of the company a privacy policy etc five management information system or mis mis broadly refers to a computer based system that provides managers with the tools to organize evaluate and efficiently manage departments within an organization 
समटाइम्स कॉल्ड इंफॉर्मेशन सिस्टम डिपार्टमेंट आई एस और इंफॉर्मेशन टेक्नोलॉजी डिपार्टमेंट नाउ आई विल एक्सप्लेन करंट इंफॉर्मेशन टेक्नोलॉजी टूल्स इन बैंकिंग इंफॉर्मेशन टेक्नोलॉजी टूल्स यूज इन बैंकिंग कैन बी क्लासीफाइड अंडर थ्री हेड्स फर्स्ट वन इलेक्ट्रॉनिक क्लियरिंग एंड सेटिलमेंट सिस्टम सेकेंड प्लास्टिक मणि third electronic banking first one electronic clearing and settlement system electronic clearing and settlement system used several technologies like ocr clearing micr clearing debit clearing rtgs sift etc second plastic money can be classified under credit card debit cards and smart cards a debit card also known as bank card or check card is a plastic card that provides an alternative payment method to cash when making purchases functionally it can be called an electronic check is the funds are withdrawn directly from either the bank account or from the remaining balance on the card In some cases the cards are designed exclusively for the use of internet and so there is no physical card The difference between credit card and debit card is that the debit card deducts the balance from the deposit account like a checking account whereas the credit card allows the consumer to spend money on credit to the issuing bank in other words a debit card uses the money you have and a credit card uses the money you don't have and the next is about smart cards nowadays smart cards are widely used for payment technology it is a plastic card uh, like credit or debit card with or without magnetic strip uh, capable of storing retrieving and manipulating data and used in variety of applications the emergence of smart card arises in order to issue multi purpose cards which function as credit cards debit cards and atm cards so that it is used all types of customer base and their choice next uh, third is uh, electronic banking tools i think you are uh, much aware about uh, this technologies electronic banking includes automated teller machines internet banking facilities phone banking or mobile banking ivrs technique etc
is also known as network of networks millions of computers are linked together on a computer network an organization creates a computer network with the help of or using the facilities of internet and world wide web 